Okay, here we are. I'm gonna play a match here with Rick Shea, the Atog Lord himself. Um, already taking a mulligan to six, which you like to see. Yeah, let's get our own open hand here, see what it looks like. Well, this board, it has a plan. Um, a little reluctant to keep it. Uh, it's just the Karn by himself. Uh, we're on the play here. Um, we can keep him off mana for quite a while, especially with Ghost Quarter, but it just seems so uh, janky. Yeah, I think I think I gotta send it back. And this is worse. So we kept the first hand. Immediately punished. Alright, we'll stick with this. Yep, I can. Alright, just starting off with these, uh, I'm not leading with the Academy, because uh, I think that's going to be bigger for a long-term mana development. I don't know what he's playing here, so depending on what he decides to do, um, you know, if he had like a strip mine or something like that, I think I'd prefer he use one on the tomb, even if he just has his own Academy. Um, you know, I'd prefer that uh, he make decisions not knowing that I have it. And the rest. We got a smokestack. So many choices, Rich. So many choices. And anything else? Still got two black floating and a dark confidant. It gets better. Uh, still has one floater. I uh, don't know why he decided to tap it that way. What else? Not of any. Uh, let's see, so I'll play out Academy. Um, he's already played out any, any one C spells, CC spells I think we're likely to see out of him. Uh, I'm going to drop it at 1. It hits the fewest amount of our spells, well, probably hitting the most of his. So I think that's how we want to do it. Uh, we could go for 2, but I don't think it shuts off enough. I mean, it puts, it puts off Hercule, which is a big deal, but it also turns off all of our own sphere effects. Um, you know, does it, it creates a bunch of dead draws for us. Where, um, you know, for Shea playing it, I'm sure it's got plenty of 1cc spells that, you know, like Vampiric Tutor, for example, making me look smart. Yep, yeah, got me. Alright, so he hasn't done too much. I think, uh, you know, hopefully, we're locking him out reasonably well with the chalice there. And I think what I'm going to do here is uh, drop the metamorph to so copy his confidant. It seems so bad though, but I don't know, we're kind of far behind on board. We should be able to trade him off against his confidant at some point. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how my mana base is killing me, but. So yeah, this could definitely come back to bite me significantly. He's got a colorless floating here. It's... Oh, all right, so he's just doing it for the tempo play, I guess. And time walk. 
I think we're getting on to the uh, hope he kills himself with his own confidant plan right now. I'm trying to decide if I would, uh, if he comes in here, if I'd be willing to trade off. See, we can trade off for a snapcaster here and not have to take any more damage. Or we can hope he doesn't do anything else and crack in ourselves. I think I'm just gonna take it here. I need some threats. And uh you know it could be costly, but I think uh that card should do it for me. Yep. Is that plate still colossus when you need it? Alright, so we've got a lot of cards left this year. So let's see how it goes. Alright, not exactly what I'd hoped for in my heart of hearts, but uh, I think I'll take it. Um, yeah, I might want to go Thorn and then Chalice for two. That would be the best thing here. Okay. I know we to do that without tapping the ancient tomb, so maybe we don't need that as much. I think I'm enough to just drop this too. And I'll pass it off. I've come with a Snapcaster here. Um, I think I'm going to trade it off. I think his Dark Confound is probably one of the only ways that I'm winning this game. I'm going to trade off here for Snapcaster. I don't think we can afford it anymore. Maybe we could never afford it in the first place. Oh, nice of you to join the party. Uh, yeah. I need some hits here. Come on. Yes! Almost there. And we're in business. Okay, so we got two chances here to get them. Missed on both. Alright, so we've still got some chances. Uh, 
Alright, it's a wasteland. Uh, he actually is kind of tight in terms of where his mana is at right now. Because he can't play anything at a 1 or 2. And, uh, you know, he's probably going to try and get rid of his crypt. And to get more land, he's going to have to pop his fetch land. Which is not the easiest thing to do at the life total that he's at right now. And I think I'm going to go for the underground sea. I think a lot of the scarier cards he has right now are... Okay, so... Let's uh, pass it off here. Make my day, Ricochet. Make my day. Ricochet, he probably has Tinker. Uh, we know he has Force of Will. And he can uh, hard cast it right now. Uh, I don't think this. He can hard cast it, but he's got to pop his polluted delta to do it. So, Mike, he, he's probably got an irrelevant blue card, but that shuts off his fetch lands if he does that. So I, I think I think it's worth running this guy out here. Like, I, I don't see how else I can kind of really go about it other than, uh, you know, waiting to accumulate two threats to get it and all that. But, um, you know, sooner or later that mana crypt's going to... I think that's three in a row for him, so... <laughs> yeah, didn't want to cast that Vampiric Tutor, huh? Uh, I'll just hold the Lotus right now. I don't have any sphere effects, and I'm not going to. Uh, as long as um, that's the case, so might as well just hang on to it. Again. Tangle <laughs> wire. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess it does something. All right, run it out there. Go get him, Tangle Bar. Oh, he's got the hard cast force again. Look at that. All right, that's fine. We I mean, we got to get these things out of his hand at some point, anyways, and. How many is that? Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, so uh, Chalice is for the win. All right, so let's see uh, what we're working with here. Um, so he's doing some Snapcaster stuff. So that obviously is going to bring up the value of you know things like Tormod's Crib Nine and Spell Bomb. Um, you know, dismembers. Uh, we can hit his um, Dark Confidant on a cast, but we don't really have a whole lot of stuff here that's just awful. A lot of the stuff is designed for this kind of mashup. Uh, maybe the Thorn of Amethyst loses a little bit of value because we know he's got so many of those in there. Um, it's just a little tough to say what you want to bring in. Uh, he's got some basics, so maybe you can cut Ghost Porter here. So let me try cutting Ghost Quarter. Let me try cutting three thorns. And bring in four Tormod's first. 